Hello there and welcome to Trains, Planes and Automobiles. Right, what we'll be talking about today is the 1871 HMS Devastation. Leader of a class of two revolutionary battleships. Massless and with their guns mounting in traversing turrets. Constructed for the Royal Navy in the 1870s. Built during a time of transition for a service which was ultra conservative. The two ships of the devastation class were sure, sure to be controversial. So strong was the public's distrust of the new design, in fact, that the construction of the Fundra was held up until the devastation's trials were complete. In the event, they proved to be good strict steamers and steady gun platforms, even though their low freeboard meant they were very wet indeed. The HMS Devastation was built at Portsmouth Naval Dockyard to the design of the celebrated naval architect Edward Reed. Laid down on the 12th of November 1869, she was launched on the 12th of July 1871 and completed on the 19th of April 1873. She was sold for breaking up in 1900. Eight. The new ships embodied a simple concept that, that the most powerful ships were those mounting the biggest, most powerful guns, no matter how few of them, so long as they could train through a wide arc. To that end, they had paired 12 inch 305mm muzzle loading rifles. After a brief flirtation, the Royal Navy had decided that breech loading technology was not yet far enough advanced to be safe. Mounted in pairs in turrets fore and aft, each capable of training through an arc of almost 300 degrees, they were rearmed with 10 inch breech loaders in the 1890s to 92 and also received a secondary battery of three PDR and six PDR QF guns and machine guns. The HMS Devastation was a battleship. She had a one shaft two cylinder pen truck engine producing 6,640 IHP. She had a length of 93.6 meters or 307 feet a beam of 19 meters or 62.25 feet. She had a weight of 933 tons. She had 358 staff. She had a speed of 13.5 knots. She had a range of 4,700 miles. The HMS devastation was the product of a time when naval tactics consisted of manoeuvring into a position where one could fire directly into the enemy at close range and her armor was designed to defeat all but the very largest guns at anything over point blank range it was actually reed's wish to cover every square foot of her above water surface with armor but he was forced to leave the forecastle Unplanted. Nevertheless, her armour accounted for over 27% of her displacement, a total of more than 2,500 tonnes. So a pretty armoured, very early a battleship called HMS Devastation. Pretty cool early ship. Thanks for looking. Please like, comment, subscribe. Or add more details if you want to. Thanks for looking. Bye-bye.